Hi, Lucy. Hi, Trini. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing something that I really said for a long time I would do and I'm finally doing, which is skirts. Oh my goodness, look at that. Okay, I've never ever seen this in your wardrobe. Where is it from? Tell me immediately. It's from Pinko. I got it in the sale at Harvey Nichols. I always say that, that's a sentence now, isn't it? Um, but it was about 60 quid from about 300 and I've never worn it. So there's a few things in here, Lucy, I've never worn. So it's a really, it's been a great moment for me to work out why haven't I worn it and how can I style it? Okay, but so why did you buy it? If you're not really a skirt person, you've never worn it. I bought it. Well, let, we'll go into that in a second. Can we just start off with last week's challenge for you, darling? The gilet. It really has just been one of those days and I am just living in my active wear. It's just a little, like a uniglow sports gilet. You know what? Do you have any big floppy dresses, like dresses with no shape? Like if you've got any sort of summery dresses that are really tenty, you can wear now and you put the gilet over to dress it down. That could be another way you could use that gilet, not just with active wear. Yes, okay. All right, darling. So I'll start off now with this skirt. I literally saw it at 200 paces from the escalator. And I was like, ooh, and it was the color. And it's got that tearing because it's very fitted. In the evening, I would wear it with this sleeve. This is that old Solas London top yes. and then a little silver shoe it's a bit of a classic it's the kind of skirt that i would i would also buy if i saw it for sale in harvey nichols <laughs> thank you but now i want what i want to do lucy because i got all different things i'm gonna do with skirts i want to dress it down for the daytime i would actually just make it all pink and for that moment i need to actually give myself because i got so much pink on now i'm gonna amp up a little bit more color I'm gonna do pia lip to cheek on my lips and cheeks Prada pink bag because I'm just thinking you know me I will walk down the street literally like that but having the crossbody casualizes the skirt to me not tucking in the jumper casualizes the skirt um, white trainers casualize the skirt the other thing I might do when I do this let me just show you because I'm just playing as I go just throw on some leopard you know I love pink and leopard and now I'm feeling that in fact I've daytimed it a bit yes this is working I would even just go and get that scarf you know, and do that moment I do. There, I'm done. I'm so done. I would so wear this to the office. I really would. Okay, I'm going there now. Bye. Okay, darling. My next uh, skirt is one of my favourite. I want you all to guess what it could be. It's one I have three colours in. I always wear this H&M necklace, which must have been cost per wear about 1p, if yeah. not less. It was like nine, six pounds to begin with, and I've worn it probably about 400 times. Yes. So... When I wear this, darling, I need some colour on my lips because neon with the grey can make me... Do you see I look a bit washed out? Yeah. So I'm just going to put in... Oh, wow. ...a little mama. So it helps with the neon working on my skin tone mm -hmm. because neon is beautiful on a cool, dark skin tone or on a really cool peaches and cream with white platinum hair you know what I mean whereas because I'm right in the middle it's not my best but I love it so this is how I wear it probably my favorite skirt in my wardrobe I do love this skirt and every time you wear it I look at the website <laughs> when I love a skirt I think that suits me so let me multi-purchase which I did and these three skirts I wear very differently so the black one we saw you remember when I wore with a gilet yes that was that one and that's like my evening skirt or in the day with a big coat this bronzy one, I wear in the summer a bit because this one is about 10 years old and it's a little tiny bit tired. So anybody in the Southern Hemisphere now who doesn't like wearing skirts and is pear-shaped, this to me is the best pear-shaped skirt because there's a stretchy waistband. So I, that's why I love this. And it's slightly A-line, but because the fabric is soft, I don't feel it's taking off. It just hangs so nicely as well because yeah. most skirts you get these days have pleats in them. Yes, well, we're going to go into some pleated numbers in a minute. <laughs> but just, if I lost, like, whenever I travel, I put this in my hand luggage. That's how much I love it. And this is just cos, and it is side boobage. Usually I do wear a little bra, which is the same colour as this. But I personally don't mind that. I mean, they're a bit saggy now. It's a bit of a sagage boobage. <laughs> a sagage side boobage. But I still, I like the aeration in the summer. Okay, Lucy, my darling. This is a skirt that I also bought in the sale, same time as the pink skirt from Alice and Olivia, but it was really, I don't know if you remember, it was really full length. Oh yes, I do remember. Yeah, 
but I did love the print. It was, it reminded me there was elements of Frida Kahlo about it, even though it's actually close up a girl with sunglasses on. I got it. I put pockets in it. There weren't any pockets. A little S Susanna moment. And then I took it up four inches. So when you have a pattern skirt, it's sometimes difficult to work out loosely which colors you should wear. So this is my rule of thumb. If you're top heavy and you have boobage, then in this, I would wear one of the greens, deeper greens or a navy. You know, your bottom half, which is smaller, is going to look in proportion. But I'm not, I'm bottom heavy more than top heavy because there's pleats in the skirt, it hides the disproportion. So I could go for any neutral color. So I've just gone for the blue. Apart from the, the rules, could you pick any color out that skirt and wear it? Um, I wouldn't pick the daffodil yellow, but I mean, what's interesting is this skirt contains a lot of colors I don't suit, but also a lot of colors I do suit. So it's picking out the colors I suit and wearing those on the top. Yeah, that's really clever. And you wear them on the top because they're closer to your face. Yeah. And I think, I, you know me with print, like this close to my face, you don't see me, you see the print first. Print like this, I need to wear on a skirt. Okay, so the length that you took up, yeah. where did you take it up to? I took it, I'm tall, I'm 5'10 like you, so I could afford that volume. Um, and I've taken it up to me, the best length for my ankles to look good, which is before my calves begin to thicken. So if you've got great legs, you know, and you have a skirt that's very long, you never wear, you could take it to whatever length works for you. So for me, this length, is a bad length, that kind of mid calf. And that knee length is all right, but I just felt I wanted more fabric below. Okay, yeah. let me switch it out with a print. Do you remember the old Topshop towel? I do indeed. So what I love about this is, I think it's really interesting when you mix prints and how you mix them. And there's no hard and fast rule, but I think size of print usually I talk about, but somehow to me they go because there's an orange in the skirt and the dove blue, which is in this top is in the skirt. I also love the fact that because I have these sleeves, it introduces the fabric from the top to the bottom. So there isn't such a discord. And then on top, I was thinking, what would I wear as a coat color? And suddenly my Eau de Neal from Zara I felt worked really well because there is that shade is very similar, that sort of duck egg blue to the color actually running through the blouse. And of course that, that blue is in the skirt. So I like that. That's really cool. And I also like that the ladies on the skirt, some of them have got striped tops on. Oh my God, the detail you noticed. Yes, look at that. Lucy, only you would notice that. That's so brilliant, darling. And then makeup wise with this, I think I'll just, I've put on a tiny bit more of Maiko Sheer Shimmer. It has to be Maiko. When all else fails, it's Maiko. Look at that colour. Okay, darling, next. Winter white, Lucy. Winter white, finally. I know, because so many people have asked, and I just thought, I've always done winter white with trousers, and I thought I would try it with um, a skirt. I'm going to show you the skirt, because the skirt is that thing of how you wear, in a way, a summer skirt in winter. It's really long, which I adore. I've got white around my face because I need that. So I've taken bunny, sheer shimmer. I'm putting it there. I'm putting it all over my cheek. So I just want that glow. And then I feel my whole face feels fresh and it's freshness that I want for this. So I'm actually, is it a keeper, Lucy? Oh, it's so a keeper. It's so flattering. Oh yeah, get that label out. Thank you. You do not want to know how much it was. <laughs> you know, I'm so happy. This really old friend, the Celine coat, which um, I bought in the sale at Celine about seven years ago. <laughs> I mean, my sale shopping is, is quite good. And then I just put over my product bag. So I, I go from that white to a bit of the cream to back to white and the skirt is ecru. So there's those three shades of winter white in one outfit. Okay, next. This is about a love affair with Prada apart from me and M and Saint Laurent. This is not a high street moment, ladies. I got the skirt I think in the summer, okay, and I loved it. And then I just thought suddenly of other things in my Prada life. So I remembered that I have this necklace and I just thought there's something in the bottom of this skirt. If you notice, there's this lovely red. And then I remembered I had this necklace from Prada many years ago. I could do either a lit to bring in the color or I could do a necklace to bring in the color, but I like the idea of bringing in the red. So I'm just gonna show you. I brought some lightness to my top half and I brought some sense of pattern to the top. And this, by the way, is about 
12, 15 years old. Then I thought I might need a jacket. Could I go with this? I kind of thought that's just great because I'm still letting the skirt swing. Yeah. Still seeing the pattern. My waist is still looking small. I've changed how I wear this jacket from being a sort of weekend moment to smarter moment with a necklace. I love it, Trini. It's, so, it's just beautifully put together. And unbelievable that those, those pieces are all from different generations and yet they all go. But I haven't finished. Oh, goodness. Because the first thing I ever bought from Prada was this. Yes. And this is a bag with that red and a pattern from Venice. They always do a pattern every year. And this is a pattern, if you look, I don't know if this is some Mark Square in Venice. Yes. And now I feel, oh my God, that's an outfit. Okay, so what makeup are you wearing? Oh, well, the thing is, I don't know then with this, if I would do red, I just think it might be too much. Is it more about like a smoky brown eye? It's, oh my God, you are thinking what I'm thinking. So I'll probably take a little bit of desire and just make a little bit of a smoky eye. There, like that. And a neutral lip. And we're done. Next outfit. Lucy, this is about colour with colour. I love these pleated skirts. This one is me and M. They do them every year. I found those colours in my wardrobe. I like the mixture of the satin with the same colour that it goes down so that tie I leave open. I don't know about you, it's very difficult working out blazer lengths with these kind of skirts. Yes. So this is not an A-line skirt. Straighter skirts deserve straighter blazers that's my rule of thumb so this is the zara jacket but it happens to actually be exactly similar in tone and i love this i wore this so much do you remember me wearing this look lucy uh yes i remember it came from early 2019 and you lived in it the era i love it the era is early 2019 and i'm thinking what would i do to update it i might add that little friend from uh Ginsburg. Ginsburg. Be only because there's black on the button so I just think it's something quite nice, but the makeup now, let me find Chloe. Some Chloe. Because it needs that depth. And then I do that sort of contour Chloe blush a moment. Yeah. Yellow with yellow with yellow. Okay, next. Okay, Lucy, what I'm talking about is skirts that you buy that suddenly they don't work on their own because they are cut, hit you at the wrong length. So this skirt for me hits me between my um, knee and my ankle. So it's the worst place to hit as a skirt. So I never wore it. Then I realized I had trousers in a color that it kind of went with. And I bought this thing from Zara. It's a, a shirt, a very long shirt with that same concertina. So anyway, I wear it in a layered look. That's what I'm just saying here. With the trouser from EMN underneath, the skirt over the top and that over it. It might seem a lot for people who see, but I love this look. I feel comfortable. And then underneath I got an old Zara jumper. Well, you know how I come at that? I just um, do up, <laughs> I just do this up. I've got a bit of bulge at the waistband, but you know, it's like I can put the jumper over or I can do up a button, it doesn't matter. It's just for the joy of that little skirt appearing, not being wasted. I could get rid of the skirt, but I sort of love this look. I wouldn't wear this without a skirt underneath. And I wouldn't wear this without trousers underneath. So for our little final moment, Lucy. Wow. So this is how to make a skirt turn into an evening outfit. Um, it's Rosetta Getty. I got it recently, not in the sale. I thought it was. I bought things in the sale at Harvey Nichols and it was then in my bag, not in the sale. And he said, what do you want to do? And I was like, oh, because I thought to myself, this will have so many places in my wardrobe. So it's a two piece skirt yeah. and top. So I will wear this top endlessly. Wow. Is it the fabric? It's um, it's like a shimmery fabric. And what makeup are you doing with that? With the grey, I like to do that kind of slightly Eugenie nude lip with a coolness to it. And then I've got the coolness of universe with a little sort of beautiful, rich brown of the Empress. If you're going out in the winter, what, how would you layer this up? Well, I would wear it like this if I was going out to smart events in the winter. Yeah. But I'm not! So, exactly. off come the bloody earrings. Down comes the hair. Might as well keep the makeup. On go a set of good old rough boots, you know. I could do that, which is my Zadig and Voltaire. I think that's perfect. And you think it's perfect, don't you? And then maybe I just need a, a sort of bag, you know, with my computer in it. Otherwise, I was going to say I could do a plain black coat, Lucy, like that. Oh, 
I do love that coat. Yeah, this one. Yes. Should we do this one? I just feel that's better, but I just like that. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I think I would do that. And then I might just do like a black bag or something. That's it. That's kind of night today. Should we discuss what we're going to do next time? All right, darling, that was a little rushed. Um, and I just, anyway, it gives an, it gives an impression, you know, I, who knew that I actually had a few skirts because I never really talk about them, but I sort of fell back in love again. Yeah, so nice to see you in your skirts, Trini. You know, we've had so many comments, Lucy, the last few weeks. I know that I've had people talk about winter white, animal prints, about color combinations. What else is on the list, darling? Well, lots of people are asking about workwear. Yeah, great. Okay, so so there's a lot to choose from, ladies. You write on below what you'd like to see next and, and we will try and fulfill, oh, fulfill every order. And also one I want to do much later on, but we won't do it in the next couple of weeks, is about Zoom calls. Because I know you talked about that last week and I am building that up. Some take a while to prep. But I can't wait. Have a wonderful weekend and um, have a lovely weekend, Lucy. Bye. Have a lovely Bye. weekend, Trini. Bye.